One of the things we have to do in optimization and sometimes other kind of analyses is we need to plot a function along a line. And what I mean by that, this is a function of two variables, x and y. You can see the contour plot here. It's basically an ellipse. And I want to know what the values of that function are along this line that's shown in red. And the line goes through 0, 0 and has a slope of 1 half. So y equals x over 2 is the equation for the red line. So the question is, how do I make a plot along that red line of this 2D function? Or in another way to think about it, perhaps, is what if I were to take this uh, 3D surface that's represented by the ellipses on this contour plot and just saw it along the red line and look at the edge of uh, that saw cut? What would that look like? Now well, let's try this. I'm going to do this in MathCAD just because it's easy. Okay, so here we are. There's, there's the, the same contour plot. And what I'm going to do now is I want to start at uh, y equals minus 2.5 at x equals 5. Now the, the uh, plot range on this plot is minus 5 to 5 on both x and y axis. So the starting point is going to be minus 2.5 at x equals minus 5. It's going to go through 0 and it's going to wind up at 2.5 on the y-axis at x equal 5. So to do this in sort of uh, the same kind of way we would do in an optimization algorithm like steepest descent, I need to know two things. I need to know a starting point, and I need to know the direction that line is going. So my starting point, x is going to be minus 5, and y is going to be minus 2.5. That's that point right about there, pretty much, right about there, I guess. Okay, and it's going, the line's going to go through uh, x equals 0, y equals 0, and it's going to wind up at here at x equals 5 and y equals 2.5. Now the next thing I need to know is the search direction. If this was truly a 2D plot, you know, with one x and one, uh, one independent and one dependent variable, I would be looking for a slope, you know, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope. Because this is a 2D plot where I have two independent variables, x and y, and then the th a third variable, which is f of x, y, is the, the colors here. Um, I need a search direction. I'm going to call that search direction S because that's what you usually call it in optimization uh, terminology. And let's see, I'm going to let's see, in, add a matrix. Now, my search direction is going to have two numbers in it. It's going to be a vector of two rows and one column. And the first number tells me how far I'm going to go in the X direction. And the second number tells me how far I'm going to go in the Y direction for every unit in the x direction. So I need two rows, one column, and just hit that. Let me just move this down a little bit. There we go. So if I go one unit in the x direction, I'm going to go one half in the y direction. That's what, uh, let's go back to this uh, other figure. That's what that means. That slope of that line is one half. And on the plot that we're interested in here, that's how we express that. If I go one unit in the x direction, I'll go half a unit in the y direction. Now one other thing to point out here, that origin is defined as one, that, that those three lines there, that makes that a definition. Um, MathCAD is one of the only programs I've ever seen that lets you have an initial vector address of zero, so that the first element of a vector is the zeroth element. Uh, most programs, most languages will have that be 1. Since I want this to be the first element and that to be the second element, I'm setting the origin equal to 1. So next thing I've got to do is I've got to define a distance along that line. And the reason I keep going back to this is right now MathCAD won't let me plot a line over a contour. Or if it does, I haven't figured out how to do it yet. So I need to know how far along that line to go, what distance. And I'm just going to call that distance d. I need a variable, d for distance. And so I'm going to do this. I'm going to define x in the, in, in, uh, as a function of d as the, our starting point plus d, the distance, times the first element of our search direction. So s, 1. Now, 
the subscript here and the subscript here are different. On the x, that dot is just a text subscript. That just means 0 is just part of the variable name. This 0 doesn't have any uh, mathematical meaning. Here, let me go back again. I didn't hit a dot. I hit the left square brace. So on my keyboard, it's next to the P. And on the other thing on that button is the left uh, curly brace. Hit that. And that is now that subscript is now the mathematical address. And so that's, there it is right there. If I want to know s sub 1, hit equals, that's 1. If I make that a 2, that'll come out a half. So that subscript actually means something mathematical. Next thing I'm going to do is define y the same way. And maybe I'll spread those out a little bit so they don't overlap. There we go. So same thing. Now I have x and y defined as a function of distance along that red search line that I showed you in the other plot. Last thing I need to know is define, to define f as a function of d as well. Because I only have a line and I only have a search direction along that line, x is a function of d, y is a function of d, but f is also going to be a function of d. So along that search direction, f goes from being a function of two variables, where I get a, this uh, spiff contour plot, to a function of one variable, d. I'm just going to call, define it like this. So there we go. Now f is a function of d only. OK, the thing to remember now is d is distance along that red line. And that distance doesn't start at 0. It starts at my starting point, um, x0 and y0, which is way over here. So instead of d going from minus 5 to 5 like x does, it's going to start at 0 and go to something like 10. So let's do this. Let's, let's make this plot. Insert graph xy plot. I'll put d there. And I'll have this go from 0 to 10. And fd of d, and there, there we go. And it's symmetric, as one would expect. It goes to 0 in the middle, just like that does. And what I'm seeing, that red line there is what I would get if I somehow made a 3D model, sliced it along that red line, and looked at it from the side, from at the, at the cut. That curve is just this red line viewed from the side. So there you go. That's how to plot a uh, two independent variable function, how to cut a 3D plot along a line and plot the uh, function you get on the edge of that. Hope this helps. We'll talk to you next time.